How to fix ads to 90019 No tenant identifying information found in either the request or implied by any provided credentials. 1. Ensure that you are using the correct credentials. 2. Try another network connection. 3. Try to log in private window. 4. Clear your browser cookies and cache. 5. Try another web browser. 6. Log into the desktop application, if applicable. 7. Completely uninstall the affected application and reinstall it. 8. Contact your administrator to check the status of your Microsoft or Azure AD account status. Unfortunately, there is no direct way to check the status of a Microsoft or Azure AD account just using Advanced Password Generator. Here are some options instead, if you manage the account, sign into the Azure portal and go to Azure Active Directory users to view the status and details of users. This will show if an account is enabled slash disabled, expiration date etc. If it's your own personal Microsoft account, try signing into https colon slash slash account.microsoft.com to see if you can access your account. If you can't sign in, the account may be disabled or locked. Use the Azure AD PowerShell module to connect and retrieve user account status using Git Azure Adder Complete. This can retrieve detailed status information programmatically. From the user side, go to https://account.live.com and try signing into services like Outlook. If you can't sign into any Microsoft services, the account is likely suspended or disabled. For Office 365 accounts, admins can check the status in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center under Users Active Users. This shows login and account status. Use a password manager that can show the health status of credentials. For example, LastPass will indicate if a Microsoft account credential is failing login attempts. So in summary, while Advanced Password Generator doesn't have account status functionality built in, Azure AD, Office 365 and Microsoft account interfaces provide account status checking for administrators and end users.